Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm honored to be with you today. Today is the 23rd of February, and it is 2017. So welcome to my live stream. For all those that are watching this for the very first time as this video scrolls through your Facebook feed, uh, today I recommend you stick around. It will be on the subject of flourishing. Flourishing is in the finances. It is in health and relationships. It comes to us from many different ways and perspectives. And today we'll be focusing on the nature of flourishing, why some people have it, why some people don't have it, and how you can use soul power to transform the flourishing blockages if there are any, and how to maintain and sustain the highest amounts of flourishing if you would like to gain more or maintain what you have. So it's going to be a very exciting day. I hope you stick around and watch the entire hour. I do live streams four days a week, Monday through Thursday, at exactly this time. <clears throat> and um, you can always watch these live streams after the fact if you need to run off and miss this by, um, by going to my Facebook page, liking me, and you can find them on there. But also you can subscribe. If you're new to this, you can hit the subscribe button, which usually shows up at the end of the video. Um, in either case, it's an exceptional opportunity to receive some of the highest wisdom and teachings that are made available at this time. My teacher is Master Shah, and Master Shah is a world-renowned healer. He is a doctor of Chinese medicine as well as a trained doctor of uh, Western medicine, and he's also a world-class acupuncturist. But he has traveled the world for the last 18 to 20 years teaching the foundational teachings of soul and how it can bring transformation to various aspects of our life. Um, his most recent teachings have been on what's called the Ten Da, which include the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion, the greatest light, the greatest humility, the greatest harmony. Today's teaching, the greatest flourishing, uh, it also includes the greatest gratitude, the greatest service, and the greatest enlightenment. This foundational teaching can help us to literally bring about balance and harmony in every area of our life. He also teaches a lot about love and forgiveness. There are many, many practices that I employ in these, in these live streams and that are available through his books. So if you are new to this, my encouragement is that you pay attention, that you tune in, uh, take some notes, and watch this video more than once. I will offer wisdom and teachings, and towards the end I will be offer offering blessings. There is also, for all those who stick around to the end, a very, very, very special opportunity that was only recently made available just at this last retreat we had with Master Shah. He made it available to the Divine Channels to make it available to all of the uh, all of those that wish to take advantage of that opportunity. So that's going to be a surprise that all of you can be made abreast of towards the end. So I look forward to serving you with that. And so um, the last few days during my live streams, we've been focusing on with the, with the power of forgiveness. We have been focusing on bringing balance and resolve to the areas of our life that, uh, that are not in their highest alignment. So for example, on Monday we focused on self-love and we utilized some depthful wisdom from soul and soul power wisdom that Master Shah has brought to humanity. And I shared with all those that were uh, watching that, that live stream um, how to bring about greater layers of self-love, how to identify um, the ways in which we harm ourselves with it, and a recognition of the, the lack of the value of focusing on any negative self-talk. And so if you haven't seen that one, I encourage you to uh, come to my, my timeline and watch it. Um, yesterday we focused on releasing the blockages associated with relationships. And the wisdom I imparted yesterday was also very, very valuable. I used real-world common sense wisdom that I have gained over the 50 years of my life. And I also used soul power wisdom, a combination to bring about real-world problem resolve. And so again, if you have perfect relationships in all of your communications, highly recommend that you just keep doing whatever you're doing because it's hard to maintain perfect relationships. 
If on the other hand you've had a lack of healthy relationships or are in need of some healthy ones, recommend you also watch that live stream. Today of course we are focusing on uh, flourishing. Now when I say the word flourishing, uh, it can be used uh, equally with the word abundance, but in both cases people associate that with money. And although that's not untrue, flourishing should not be and actually is not limited to just money. Because we could have a billion dollars like uh, the gentleman who owned Apple, but he died a very, very wealthy man and a very sad and unhappy man. And he came to the conclusion that money certainly wasn't everything. It couldn't buy him life. It couldn't buy him a cure for his cancer. It couldn't buy him anything. And what he came to realize, even though he studied uh, Buddhist teachings, and that was the, the belief of choice that he was studying, that um, there was so much more to life than money. So flourishing and abundance is not limited to money. It has many possible side benefits. Now there is, you will learn today as we connect to the wisdom and the teachings, and I share with you some of the higher wisdom and teachings that heaven has brought to us. You will learn that there is um, a way in which we can have a lot more of it, and it requires soul power. So first I'm going to stop for a minute and acknowledge all of those that have joined us here today. Welcome Ilana, welcome Ben, welcome Amy Minago, welcome Magdalene. Good to see you coming in the last couple of days, Magdalene. Aloha Rob Brett, haven't seen you in a while, good to see you here. Aloha Don, and good to see you CJ. Aloha Emma. Emma has been very vigilant, she's been here very often. Welcome Kristen Rojas, welcome Linda, welcome Nurma, welcome Tammy Hunter. Hey Dean, good to see you, staying up late. Welcome Zilke, welcome Elaine Hewitt, also coming in every day. Welcome Elaine. And Dawn, welcome Tylee Ayers, seeing you once or twice I think, good to see you again here today, I think coming in from down under. Welcome Yvonne, uh, welcome Brianna, um, welcome Joanne, Joanne's also from the UK coming in late. Welcome Melissa, welcome Pamela, welcome Meg. And Aloha Richard, Richard coming in from Thailand. Aloha Sharon. And welcome Johnny. Johnny and Kristen and Pat are all coming in from the Trinidad Barbados area. Okay, so I'm sure others will arrive and if I haven't mentioned your name, please forgive me, I haven't seen it pop up at this point in time. So thank you all for hitting the share button, letting other people know about this. Uh, this live stream, it uh, will without a doubt affect a lot of people's lives if they can become more familiar with this wisdom. For most of you, you are veterans, you have heard some of the information that will be shared here before. But one of the things that I really appreciate about my teacher, Master Shah, is that he repeats a lot. And what, one of the things I appreciate about that is I'm able to get a deeper wisdom every time I hear him repeat because we're only able to retain roughly 10% of whatever we hear for the very first time. If we hear it a second time, we can gather another 10% and so forth. And so having, having um, witnessed and gained the wisdom that, you know, for those that have been watching my live stream for a while, you know I'm very fluid with the information. I can speak with integrity, I can speak with clarity. That was not the case eight years ago. I can because I have repeated and learned from a repeat process. So please know that even if you've heard some of this information before, it, it most likely will bring great value to you today because you'll get some deeper aha moments out of it. And so um, let us first connect heart to heart, soul to soul. <clears throat> we'll place our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. This is called a hand mudra. And Master Shah has taught us this. And what it does, instead of the prayer position, which is the hand mudra, we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Now in your video it's going to be opposite. Left hand in front of the heart center. Don't push up against your heart. Nice and gentle and relaxed. Right hand gently pointed towards heaven. And what this does is it connects the heavenly energies into our heart center. Okay? Close your eyes. Let us connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Dear beloved, the divine, the Tao, the source, all beings of light surrounding the planet of the light side. That includes all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, masters, ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, and saints, 
kahunas. All angels, healing angels, and archangels to the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you, honor you, appreciate you. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all that you do for our lives, for your protection, for your unconditional love, for your light, for your forgiveness, for your life savings when we don't know about it. We thank you from the bottom of our heart for all of the times you have brought us wisdom and guidance throughout the course of this and all time. We ask most humbly and sincerely that you be with us here today and assist us in aligning our soul, heart, mind, and body to our soul's highest calling. We ask that you align our soul, heart, mind, and body to the greatest flourishing. For with the greatest flourishing, we can be both happier and healthier. We can serve others and make them happier and healthier. So we are very grateful for this opportunity. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, we love you, we honor you, appreciate you, respect you. We thank you so much for your unconditional service. We ask that you turn on in all souls in all universes and we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us to offer this unconditional service <clears throat> and so for anybody new watching this just close your eyes and receive the blessing for everybody else we keep our eyes closed we serve with the greatest love let us chant together lula lula li lula lula la li Lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in the ling, oh, I tron ran lay, on ling rong her musher shung. Shang I ping on a she, Shang I ping on a she. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> love, peace, and harmony. One more round. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo I wash in the ling, wo I trun ran li, wang ling rong her mu shur shang, shuang I ping on a she, shuang I ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love open spiritual channels. While I was chanting to you, I received additional information on how I can best serve you today. I'm so happy with that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. Aloha, Monica. Aloha. <clears throat> to um, Master Anne, Aloha Carol, and Aloha Mary Vasek, uh, Aloha anyone else that might be present and watching that I have not seen come in.
today we will be focusing on flourishing and abundance and specifically the nature of forgiveness in association with these. Now I will be also offering some guided wisdom that I will flow shortly here. And I'm going to ask for some additional guidance, but I want to give you a baseline understanding. Some of you know it, some of you may be hearing this for the very first time. In heaven, there is a virtue bank. The virtue bank is, uh, is associated with a combination of our virtue and our spiritual debt. If you have a checking account in the physical world with let's say a thousand dollars in it and you have debts to pay, credit cards, etc., you will take from that physical bank account. You want to think of the thousand dollars as virtue. You've worked hard, you've done good things to earn that and then it therefore has filled up your account. But you also have debts from which you have made promises to pay back. In the uh, in the soul world, there are <clears throat> also virtue, where you earn an income, and there are debts, where you have to owe and pay back. Virtue is earned by good deeds and good services, good thoughts, good words, and good actions. It's when we take the time to bring value and benefit to others. Services, Dr. and Master Shah has defined it, is making others happier and healthier. Now raise your hand if you had helped make others happier and healthier. A lot of hands going up. Good job. It's okay. Nobody was watching. <clears throat> now, how many of you have probably made choices in which you have harmed others through thoughts and words and actions? Raise your hand. Possibly even more hands went up. <laughs> okay. So this is the source of our virtue and the source of our debt, our thoughts, our words, our actions. Unfortunately, most of us don't recognize that we have made some unpleasant thoughts and words and actions. Uh, that we're completely unaware of. I was listening to a teaching yesterday and it was a very advanced teaching. It wasn't from Master Shah, but it was very wise teaching and it said, you know, you could work at a factory that cans meat, uh, packages meat. You could uh, be doing it to feed your family. You could be doing it for all the right reasons so that you could put your kids through college, etc. But because of the nature of the killing process that created that meat, there is a karma or a spiritual debt that is incurred because you're, um, you're a part of that overall thing. The overall message was that uh, even though we have good intent, it doesn't necessarily mean that good is the end result. <clears throat> so we can have Hitler as was indicated in this, this message I was listening to yesterday, in his mind, had good intent. He wanted to create an Aryan nation, an all-white nation, a premier nation, that he, in his world, had very good intent, but turned out a very unpleasant result. So, regardless of his intent, heaven could see the unpleasant result to the other humans. And so, sometimes it's purposeful. We know we're doing wrong through thoughts and actions, and sometimes it's just completely accidental. And so those wind up in the debit column. Now we always have choice to do things in the good column. We can make conscious choices for good thoughts, good words, and good actions. And we very, very often do. This includes what, uh, what and how and why we teach others around us. Even what people observe. More often than not, children, our children, duplicate what they see more than what they hear. They might mimic your word, but they probably don't understand it. What they mimic more often than not is what they witness. So if we say something but do another, they will do what they witness, not what we say. You know that's true, especially if you're a parent. <clears throat> and so we have to be vigilant of our thoughts, our words, and our actions. Because we're being watched, and not only by our children, heaven watches us. It, there is an ancient statement that if you don't want anybody to know what you're doing, don't do it. It's very difficult in this world that we live in because we're surrounded by so many vices, so many desires, so many things that take us away from virtuous activities, virtuous thoughts, words, and actions. I have uh, thoughts, words, and actions that are out of alignment uh, on a constant basis and I am doing my best to be aware and 
do forgiveness practice to resolve them. Another very important foundational teaching is instant forgiveness. Now, I want you to write this down. I want you to put it in your brain. I want you to, to not forget it, whatever you got to do. Instant forgiveness is like an instant eraser, okay? This is not like going to the Catholic Church where you go and you do something bad, you go on Sunday and you say, please forgive me, God, and you go back and you repeat it. No, not like that. You don't want to do that because heaven will not keep on forgiving you under those kinds of conditions. What it's more about is conscious recognition of when you have a negative thought, which very often leads to negative words, which very often leads to negative actions. You can start at the negative thought level. Let's try to catch yourself where any form of harm is coming either to you or outside of you. And as you catch it, instantly ask for forgiveness. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry to the soul of that person I had this judgmental thought about. I'm sorry uh, to all the souls that I've had judgmental thoughts about. Dear Divine, please forgive me. Um, dear my soul, please assist me to change and transform this judgmental pattern. Please bless me to be more aware, to see this individual as equal in the eyes of the divine and to bless me to become more and more compassionate and less and less judgmental. Okay, that's an instant forgiveness practice, okay? This is something that should forever, ever, and ever, and ever, and ever be done. It should be as natural as breath. What you will discover is that this loosens the grip on your virtue bank. Now, I want you to visualize for me uh, a, a tube, okay? And this tube goes to you down here on earth up to heaven. At the top of the tube is your record of all your goods and all of your uh, unpleasant services, okay? Uh, your virtue bank. And down here you are in the physical world with all of your physical world flourishing and all of your physical world lack of flourishing. Is flourishing money? No. Flourishing is excellent health, excellent relationships, excellent uh, uh, um, workplace, excellent life, excellent financial conditions. Flourishing is excellent everything. Okay? Don't, don't square your head to just money. So when we have uh, a, a virtue bank, most all of us, if we're here on earth, our virtue bank has a combination of virtue and debt. And there's this column that runs down to us. Now, for most of us, unless you have flourishing in every area of your life, there is a tourniquet, literally a band around the center of this column. So now imagine something squeezing, very, very small, like an hourglass. That's what's happening for those of us that have flourishing blockages. So raise your hand if you have flourishing blockages. Okay, I see a lot of hands going up. So what causes the flourishing blockages? the constant, constant adding on of new spiritual debt. What causes spiritual debt? Negative thoughts, negative words, negative actions. Okay? The, 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 the big way is extremely simple. This is a foundational teaching that is a, a Tao wisdom teaching. Master Shah has repeated it. The big way is extremely simple. What does that mean? It means stop doing these things. It means start being conscious. So you will learn more about the forgiveness practice, but just like the Catholic that goes to church on Sundays and asks for forgiveness and goes back and repeats, you're not going to be, you're not going to loosen the tourniquet around the hourglass of your, uh, of your virtue bank that's trying to reach you here on the physical plane. Not going to happen. Okay? So you want to loosen the tourniquet, you want to loosen the tightness, and you, you will learn today the skill sets to accomplish that. Okay? So I encourage you to, to um, really, really, really look closely at some of the solutions for this. Now, all of us prior to coming in, if you believe in more than one life, we have a history of doing good things and a history of doing some not so good things. And a little side kicker, a little something kicks you in the side and you say, oh, I'm not sure I like this one. Our ancestors' virtue and our ancestors' debt also impacts us. 
Now, I promise you, you're not going to complain if your ancestors did good and benevolent things. Maybe one was a king and he saved hundreds of thousands of lives and he created a very prosperous and wealthy kingdom and everybody prospered and, and maybe he did not go to wars. Then that means there's a lot of excellent virtue in your ancestral tree. And that means that you probably have a wonderful flourishing life. And we say thank you, thank you, thank you to our ancestors. How do you maintain that virtue? How do you maintain it? Well, one way we just discussed. Don't do negative thoughts, words, and actions. And if you do, do instant forgiveness with a pure heart. But how else do we maintain it? There is a secret. I will read that secret to you now. This is in Master Shah's Soul Over Matter book. Let me find the actual words that he used here. So uh, this may or may not be the exact words, uh, excuse me, the exact section I'm looking for, but this ties in. So this is on page 110 of the Soul Over Matter book, if you have it. According to ancient wisdom, positive virtue determines how much financial flourishing, good health, and good relationships a person enjoys. It even determines how long a person lives as a physical being. Bet you didn't know that one, did you? Interesting, huh? Yeah. Because if, if our choices or our ancestors' choices impact the flourishing in every area of life, that could include health. That could include relationship. And if those people suffered major health and relationship blockages, major financial blockages, their life would have ended early. Why wouldn't that impact our life unpleasantly? You see, this is how spiritual debt and spiritual virtue works. He says, uh, why am I leading you in this book and in the practices to do these soul over matter practices of the 10 Das? To do these practices that we're going to be doing shortly is to, this is important, to do these practices is to bring the highest, the source, uh, and heavens, Jing Qi Shen, down to your physical experience. In other words, you're bringing the higher frequencies down. You're, you're bringing the Jing Qi Shen of heavens flourishing to our lowly earthly based uh, flourishing. Who wouldn't want heavens flourishing? Of course, we all do. So when I do this practice in a little while, that's exactly what is occurring. We are receiving heavens of virtue, which is much, much higher, much, much purer than ours. This is what happens when we work with his calligraphies. Now, this next part might be a little advanced, but it's very important. He says that the source is the ultimate creator. The source belongs to, in the Mandarin Chinese terms, the Wu world. The Wu world is where everything originates from before it becomes part of the yin yang world. The yin yang world is the physical, we're bound by the laws of the physical world. What goes up must come down, no choice. It's the law of gravity. This is a law. Karma is within the yin yang world. You do bad, you receive bad. You do wonderful things, you receive wonderful things. This is the yin yang world. But above that is creator, and that's called the Wu world. And he speaks in here, he says, the Wu world creates heaven, mother earth, and human beings, and countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. The Wu world has no limits. We cannot imagine enough the power of the source. Financial abundance. All forms of flourishing belong to the Yo world, the world we're in. The Yo world is the yin yang world. <clears throat> so all of, all of the flourishing, all of the financial abundance belongs here. Uh, you could be a millionaire, a billionaire, or a multi-billionaire. It does not matter. You have limitations because you're in the Yo world, the yin yang world. Everyone and everything on Mother Earth and in countless stars, planets, seas, galaxies, and universes has limitations because they're in the yin yang world. Source and creator has none. The soul over matter practices of the ten da qualities, including the greatest flourishing, what we're focusing on today, uh, connects directly to the source, Jing Qi Shen. The practices can purify and clear the Jing Qi Shen 
blockages in your your world finances original creator Jing Qi Shen which which is much more pure doesn't have the limitations doesn't have the mindsets attitudes beliefs doesn't have those it's pure it's what everything comes from transforms our blockages down here okay um, little by little as you do the practices more and more of the financial abundance occurs more and more of the spiritual debt releases you have to do the practice okay so what is the one sentence secret the true purpose of flourishing the true purpose of money is to serve to serve others is to make others happier and healthier pretty powerful stuff hmm? so how do we do that well we're going to use this the da chang sheng and i'm going to tie this into a very special opportunity that was only released just a few weeks ago so maybe a few of you that are watching know about this but the majority completely unaware of what I'm going to be sharing at the end of this I want to complete what I was talking about a moment ago so in the virtue bank we have the positive we have the negative and we talked about how the positive can get in there we can have ancestrals doing very good things which fills up our virtue bank which can account for 50% of our good and happy life 50% is because of our ancestors what about the other side what if we're having a not so pleasant experience also 50% so we're not going to complain if life is good but we're going to complain a lot if life is not so good right we must not poo-poo on our ancestors we must be very grateful for what we have and do our part in assisting us and them to clear the blockages now um, one of the keys is maintaining how do we maintain and increase the virtue and have the tourniquet that's around the hourglass that's that, that we have the siphon coming from heaven down to us this pure clear column that's supposed to be uh, you know very wide but it's very shrunk how do we open that up we do it with the power of forgiveness we do it by limiting or stopping as much as possible all wrong thoughts words and actions just on a side note, prior to me becoming um, uh, doing this as a source of, 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 of my, my flourishing, uh, I was in a sales business that was unethical. This is when I was studying Master Shah's teachings for the first three or four years. It was unethical in a couple of ways. It was creating uh, emotional karma and it was creating mental karma because I was using emotional and mental manipulation to create a sale. And I had to make the very difficult choice to leave that industry and survive on 20% of the original income. But it was a necessary choice because I understood that it was providing, although I might have been filling up my physical bank account, there was a whole lot of spiritual debt that was going in to the heavenly side. So I was enjoying the real world flourishing from this wrong choice, just like anyone might from selling uh, chemicals that are killing people, but it's definitely going to harm them in the long haul and all future time will be very unpleasant. I understood that. When you understand nature, spiritual debt and spiritual virtue, you cannot get away with keep doing it. Now that doesn't mean go quit your job. That doesn't mean Master Paul said he quit his job, so I'm gonna go quit my job, and then your husband or your wife goes ballistic. Don't do that. But do recognize that you have control over these choices, and consider that if you are creating very heavy levels of spiritual debt by wrong choices, to look at other choices and move towards leaving that choice by creating flourishing in a different area and when they offset each other leave the one that's harming you move to the one that's flourishing you okay and be thoughtful about it but be wise we cannot once we understand the nature of, of spiritual debt and spiritual virtue we cannot uh, heaven doesn't give us uh, that much more latitude once we understand the law once we understand the rules we cannot just haphazardly make wrong choices. We will absolutely create heavier spiritual debt if we know the laws and we refuse to abide by them. Because when we do that, what we're saying is, yeah, I know it, but I really, really need this. That's selfishness. That's not selflessness. 
and there's two different choices. We always want to choose the one that brings the greatest health and wellness to ourselves and to others, okay? So now you know it. You can't say you don't. Sorry to be the deliverer of this, but in the long haul, it will assist your soul journey. Forgiveness. That is one of the greatest keys to open the tourniquet. It works to release pain suffering. It works to release financial blockages. It works to release forgiveness blockages. Real world example, there was a student that connected with me earlier today. She has had significant uh, lower back pain in the area of the, um, of the very base of the spine. And uh, the MRIs and whatnot did not appear to reveal anything uh, that was obvious. And she was doing a significant forgiveness practice around what we were doing Monday for self-love, for releasing the negative self-talk. And she was doing apparently a very depthful practice because at the end of that, her 8, 9, 10 on a pain scale of pain from this area dissipated to the point of zero. Now, I'm not saying it's completely gone or that it'll stay away forever. It very well might. But it goes to show you the nature of forgiveness. Uh, and its associations with the suffering that can show up in our life. So in saying uh, negative things to self and not loving self, there was self pain inflicted or the possibility that that was the correlation there. We still at this point don't know. But one thing we do know, the practice created a measurable result. That is the power of forgiveness and it applies to every area of our life. So. Let us do a practice now. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be offering a significant blessing using a very, very rare card. This is what's called Da Chang Sheng. I'm going to read to you off the back of the card. Now this is a very special oneness calligraphy that was created. Da means greatest. Chang Sheng means flourishing. Da Chang Sheng means greatest flourishing. Greatest flourishing, I've just explained to you what it means. Now, I also explained to you that the source, the Wu world, carries the much higher Jing Qi Shen. Jing Qi Shen is everything that we're made up of, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. So there are different frequencies that operate. Angels operate at a higher Jing Qi Shen than we do. Uh, Jesus operates at a higher Jing Qi Shen than we do. And the Creator, that which birthed Jesus, creates is operating at a higher Jing Qi Shen than that. And so Master Sha, as a servant to humanity has been uh, given the abilities to transmit he doesn't he, he doesn't do it himself he's been given the uh, the authorities to transmit into this um, blessings that carry the Jing Qi Shen of the highest realms so when we practice with this we bring great uh, flourishing into our life now before I, I, I go into this I want to give you one more true story we were, uh, I was recently at a retreat with, with my beloved spirit, uh, teacher and father, Master Shah, and I was blessed to receive um, a truly astounding, truly beyond astounding blessing. Uh, I had to honor for it, and um, it was not an insignificant amount, but the blessing was to have this put into my body. And a reading was done. It was, it, was, it was placed into one of my energy centers. A reading was done by one of the top teachers as to the value of that. And there was inside of it enough virtue to create $200 million in this lifetime if I operate on the highest and most perfect level. Now, the chances of me receiving that, possible. I don't know. But I do know that I have to practice. And so I did. I have been practicing. I turn the treasure on. I pick up this. I start tracing. I connect to the soul of the greatest flourishing. Before I start, I always do a forgiveness practice like what we're about to do. So I tell you that so I can tell you the next thing that happened. Since I returned home, I have had uh, people contacting me for divine services, for special services, people that I never met, people I have no idea how they heard about me, uh, people that had connected with me almost a year ago, all of a sudden calling out of the blue. People finding my website, I have no idea how they found it. Normally, I'm used to receiving financial blessings through servicing people that I meet. 
through, through examples like this. I am not used to receiving it out of the blue for no reason. I can only very clearly discern that it was related to this. Uh, true story, literally 25 minutes after I received this transmission at the retreat, I went back to my station where I was at assisting the audio video team. I looked at my phone and somebody had contacted me that I did not know to receive a blessing as a result of a referral from a friend. Instant validation that heaven exists, that power to put blessings into these exists, and that if you do the practice, it works. Okay? Take it at face value, not asking you to believe it. There's going to be some people out there that watch this that are just going to be shaking their head. That's okay. This is something, it's called planting a seed. Now I tell you that because at the end you're going to have the opportunity to receive this card. So we're going to do a blessing with it. So everybody sit up straight. Wherever you're at, feet flat on the floor, back away from the back of the chair. Touch your tongue gently to the roof of your mouth. Place your hands for a moment in the Soul Light Soul Service hand position with the left hand on your heart center, the right hand pointed upwards. Breathe and release. Become fully present. This is the time where we have the greatest opportunity to release blockages. Now this is the practice that you will do if you, are, if you choose the opportunity to receive this individual card. Okay? You can always come back and watch this video again and again and receive additional blessings just by watching this portion. We're going to go through a forgiveness practice, so if you are comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear the soul of all of my ancestors, please come, please do this practice with me. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. I thank you for the virtue you have brought into my life, and I appreciate you assisting me with releasing the spiritual debt that I might be experiencing as a result of our collective wrong choices. Dear the Creator, the Divine, the Tao, the Source, all my spiritual mothers and fathers, beings of light, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. I most humbly and sincerely apologize if I or my ancestors have made mistakes that has brought harm or suffering to any soul's flourishing. If I have impacted them physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, financially, in relationship, in business, in any form of flourishing, I humbly and sincerely apologize. Dear all of the souls that I and my ancestor may have harmed, we deeply and sincerely apologize. We know that asking for forgiveness is not enough. We understand that we must serve others, assist others to be happier and healthier, to help earn the, your complete forgiveness. But we ask most sincerely that you pay attention, that we have learned our lessons, that we will not be greedy, take advantage of others. We will not steal and cheat anymore. We will make better, wiser, selfless choices. We thank you for this opportunity to receive your forgiveness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to repeat. Dear the soul of the source calligraphy Da Chang Sheng, the greatest flourishing. The countless blessings for flourishing inside of this calligraphy. I truly appreciate you. I ask most sincerely that you come to me, that you bless my flourishing in the way that is most appropriate. I am very honored and grateful for this opportunity to receive your virtue and to have my virtue bank filled up some. 
I am so grateful for this opportunity. Thank you. And so I will trace this on your behalf. You keep your eyes closed. Be in a place of gratitude. Be in a place of forgiveness to all those that may have been harmed in relationship, finances, in business, in quality of life, etc. So I ask uh, the countless blessings in this calligraphy to please, as appropriate, subdivide, go to all of those watching this video, and offer blessings that can open up their flourishing in whatever way is most appropriate. So that, again, as appropriate, within one week, they receive a validation that they have received flourishing. That this validation can be observed and seen in the form of a healthier relationship, a better communication, better financial flourishing, changes potentially in the job, uh, blessings and flourishing around the house where things might become smoother and easier. In whatever way it shows up, please bless them to recognize it. Blessings begin. Da Chang Shung. Da Chang Shung, Da Chang Shung, Da Chang Shung, Chi Da Chang Shung, Dao Tzu Ying Fu, Xing Ming, Da Chi Da Chang Shung, Dao Tzu Ying Fu Xing Shang Ji De Dao Ye Chang Shang Da Chang Shang Greatest Flourishing Da Chang Shang Greatest Flourishing Chi Da Chang Shung, the eighth of the greatest Tindas. Dao Tzu Ying Fu, greatest flourishing. Xing Shang Ji Da, serve others selflessly. Dao Ye Chang Shung, Earn unlimited virtue. Chi Da Chang Sheng, Dao Tzu Ying Fu, Xing Shang Ji De, Dao Ye Chang Sheng. Chi Da Chang Sheng, Dao Tzu Ying Fu, Xing Shang Ji De, Dao Ye Chang Sheng. <coughs> Chi Da Chang Sheng, Dao Tzu Ying Fu, Da Xing Shang Ji De, Dao Ye Chang Sheng. Chi Da Chang Sheng, Dao Tzu Ying Fu, Xing Shang Ji De, Dao Ye Chang Sheng. Chi Da Chang Sheng, Dao Tzu Ying Fu, Xing Shang Ji De, Dao Ye Chang Sheng. Chi Da Chang Sheng, Dao Tzu Ying Fu, Xing Shang Ji De, Dao Ye Chang Sheng. Da Chang Sheng. Da Chang Sheng, Da Chang Sheng, Da Chang Sheng, Chi Da Chang Sheng, The Eighth of Ten Das, 
Da Tzu Ying Fu, receive unlimited virtue. Xing Shang Ji Da, do selfless service. Da Ye Chang Sheng, the source of greatest flourishing. Da Chang Sheng, greatest flourishing. Da Chang Sheng, greatest flourishing. Chi Da Chang Sheng, Dao Tzu Ying Fu, Xing Shang Ji De. Dao Ye Chang Sheng Qi Da Chang Sheng Dao Tzu Ying Fu Dao Tsing Shang Ji De Dao Ye Chang Sheng Da Chang Sheng Dao Tzu Ying Fu Xing Shang Ji De Dao Ye Chang Shang Now in your mind, in your heart center, offer your greatest gratitude to the Source, to the Creator, to that which you align your heart and soul to. Offer your gratitude for the opportunity to receive this flourishing blessing. Offer your gratitude to the souls of those who have been considering offering you forgiveness. Offer your gratitude to those who have offered you forgiveness. Offer your gratitude to your own soul for the wisdom that it brought to you to be present today, that you could open your soul, heart, mind, and body to this higher understanding to flourish your life in every way. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> okay. So please share any third eye images that you might have had, any of the value from the soul wisdom that was shared that you might have got, any insights. Also, anything that you might have experienced during this blessing. Uh, did you experience your crown chakra opening? Did you experience um, gratitude on a deep level? Whatever you might have experienced, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Uh, I would want to take a moment in silence and check on something because I want to... I, yeah, I need to check on something. Give me a moment, please. Okay. So, um, thank you for staying for the full time. So, as indicated, this card is a very special card. Now, it's only been available in packs of 10. So, you can choose to purchase this in a pack of 10, which includes all 10 DAWs. Let me know the honor fee, which may not be accessible to all of you, I understand, but I'm going down from here. The honor fee for all 10, Da Ai, Da Kuan Shu, etc. All of these connect to the original calligraphies. As you trace them, you receive huge benefits. The honor fee for all 10 is 500, okay? The honor fee for this one, Da Chang Sheng, the greatest flourishing, is obviously less. Now, last night at the center, Master Orlena, uh, excuse me, the night before last, Master Orlena released this and the honor fee was 200. This was to anyone that was at the center. I asked Kevin today before I started, I said, so, um, how much virtue was placed into the original calligraphy? And I received <clears throat> two million lifetimes of virtue in the original calligraphy. I said, how much of that is in physical dollars? 
I said two billion physical dollars. So the chances of you bringing all that into your world is very, very limited. But if you trace that, like let's say 12 hours a day, and you did forgiveness the entire time as well, and you did unlimited service, and you watched your thoughts, words, and actions, there's a good chance you would have some reasonable flourishing into your life. Um, so that's the original calligraphy that this connects to. I asked Kevin uh, for this honor fee that Master Lena asked the other night, is that um, uh, fair and reasonable for what they would get out of this? And um, what I heard was that if they traced it for 10 minutes a day, every day for 30 days, along with an authentic forgiveness practice, that they would recuperate the amount they spent on this multifold, more than once, multifold. Okay. So then at the beginning, uh, while I was doing the Love, Peace, and Harmony chant, I got a message from heaven that I could, could add additionally to this. The honor fee for this is 200 What I will add additionally for anybody is a, a, a soul operation for the release of negative uh, thoughts, words, for the release of negative thoughts, um, attitudes, and beliefs, that would inhibit you from financial flourishing. So soul operation for the release of negative thoughts, uh, attitudes and beliefs that would release, that would inhibit you from financial flourishing. Plus you would receive this card. And then uh, what I'm gonna do for anyone that wants it is I'm going to go to Chinatown and purchase for you this little card holding purse, okay? And uh, it comes in a variety of colors, it's brand new. Very cute little purse holder, and it allow you to keep it on your Ming Min, on your back, where I keep mine if you'd like to, or you can put it in your purse, whatever you'd like, okay? So there's three things that you would get for that honor fee, if it's of interest to you. What I can tell you is that if you trace this uh, religiously every day, and you do forgiveness practice, um, that, and you just pay attention, Flourishing does not mean your bank account's gonna fill up. It means that life will get a little bit easier, a little bit easier, a little bit easier in all the different areas of your life. That's what flourishing means. And then you do your part about loosening the tourniquet and by being consistent in your forgiveness, by not creating new spiritual debt, and um, your life has the highest propensity of getting better and better and better because that's what flourishing means, okay? So I'm grateful that Master Shah has given uh, his divine channels the opportunity to assist you with this kind of a blessing. Let me know if that's of interest to you. You can contact me um, uh, either uh, through my email, uh, asoulhealer at yahoo.com, through, um, through Facebook Messenger, or uh, through my website. So I only see one response so far from Joanne. I think everybody else was listening to what I was saying. Um, so Kristen says, thank you, beloved Master Paul, divine down source of the blessing. She was completely knocked out in the Hundun. That's the Wu world area. Uh, great blessings. And Zilke says, uh, when I offered my gratitude, I saw that same soul who, uh, I saw that some souls who considered to forgive me and they did forgive her. Thank you. Yvonne Chikon says, I was called to move with Qigong and Tai Chi movement as you chanted. Very, very good thing to do, very wise thing to do, soul movement. Um, we call that soul movement on our end, Yvonne. Uh, so Joanne says, when we started, she saw a beautiful blue orb in the mind's eye. So Archangel Michael was with her, because that's her association with the blue orb. Uh, I have a pain in her third eye, but felt a bit weepy, to be honest, and very humble. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome, Karen Armstrong. So for those of you that came in late, highly recommend you go back and watch all of this. There was some additional insights and sharing regarding how to keep ourselves from earning additional spiritual debt um, and uh, the big blessings, of course. For those that are not in a position financially, I will keep this open as long as I can access these cards. There's only a limited supply of them. Um, there will be other masters that can access them. And so I don't know how many I'm going to be able to have access to, okay? So try your best to generate the financial blessings that will generate you financial blessings. You've heard the statement, you have to, to spend a little to get, get it in return. It's kind of like that, okay? But if I was going to suggest uh, something, that would be a good one for you, all right? So uh, consider that whenever you can. I'm here, I do not put any time limit on it other than running out of it, all right? 
So love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tomorrow I will be focusing on health and the relationship to forgiveness. You heard an example of it earlier today with the pain disappearing as a result of a deep practice, but that practice was specific to self-worth and negative self-talk. So the power of forgiveness when aligned to the right areas can bring significant value. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you for sharing this upon the end. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all beings of light who came. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye-bye, everybody.